Did Nazi Germany actually try to make a stealth fighter? The answer is no. Here are two photographs of Horton 229, which never made it off the ground, unlike its predecessors, Horton 9 V1 and Horton 9 V2. As the Second World War progressed, the Nazi Germany came up with numbers of inventive ways to bludgeon its enemies. Much to the delight of the Führer Adolf Hitler, the Wunderwaffe Miracle Weapon Program, known to the West as the Wonder Weapons, churned out some of the most ingenious hardware of World War II. To the eyes of the modern observers, futuristic is one way to describe it. The machines meant to dominate the air, land, and sea were years ahead of its time. This included the notorious V Weapons Program, where ballistic missiles and unmanned flying bombs devastated London and Antwerp, and a collection of exotic vehicles. And as the tide of war turned against the Nazi Germany, the program proved to be an important propaganda tool for convincing the public that a new game-changing weapon is on the way. Now, one might wonder if the Nazi Germany could have won if the Wunderwaffe program was implemented earlier. But the answer is no. Though impressive, the technology used was still in its early days. They were unreliable and expensive. Development ate a lot of precious time, with the Reich wasting a lot of money in testing and evaluation. But nevertheless, here's an interesting comment made by this site's frequent discussion contributor, John D. He said, I see no logical way Germany could have built up such a formidable army with capable logistics on its own with such a gutted economy in only a 20-year period. There were powerful people behind it, many of which were here in the United States. Although a lot of these advanced research projects took place in Germany at the time, the funding behind it is questionable, and as seen with Operation Paperclip, many of these scientists conveniently ended up in the United States after the war. But now, getting back to the topic, as everyone knows by now, Northrop Grumman is presently developing a second flying wing stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider, to succeed its B-2 Spirit, but not a stealth fighter. By the way, it was a pair of German brothers in the service of Nazi Germany that developed the first jet-powered flying wing, which has been dubbed, debatably, Hitler's stealth fighter. But maximizing speed and range, and not stealth, was the primary motivation behind the bat-shaped jet plane. Please read the rest of this uh, amazing article at the website provided. This is Norio Hayakawa in Albuquerque, New Mexico.